the net worm. Okay. I'm Emily. And I'm James. We show you our actual weight loss journey with the keto lifestyle. And our goal is to help you and ourselves lose weight and keep it off. Don't forget to like and subscribe and get ready. Set keto. All right, so Emily made her coconut shrimp. I did. It's not her coconut shrimp. It's keto chow's yeah. coconut shrimp that you make with keto chow pina colada. And unsweetened coconut flakes. And the recipe is on their website. Yep, that's, that's all it is on the shrimp. It's the dipping sauce that has more ingredients. And you can see her cook that right now. And then we'll be back with uh, we'll be back with our discussion and our weighing results. So stay tuned. All right, it's Thursday. I am off work, and I swang in the grocery. I swang, swung, and swang, swang by the grocery, and this is what I got. So I got two pounds of butter, even though I got like four pounds in the fridge, it was like 277 a pound for this challenge. Challenge butter. So we got that. We do like Brussels sprouts. So they were two for three dollars at Kroger. I got two bags. I love veggies. We all pretty much like Brussels sprouts. That's kind of our thing. Our thang. This is Noah, by the way. Hi. <laughs> and so, spare ribs were on sale for $1.99. And so I bought five and a half pounds of them. We will cut them up, put them in the Instant Pot, and hopefully they're as amazing as the baby back ribs were. Mm -hmm. Five dozen eggs, so this should last us until Saturday. It's a big amount of eggs. Five dozen eggs. Seven dollars at Kroger. Can't beat that. Nope. You can also get the five dozen box at Walmart for, it's like seven sixty nine. Was seven twenty nine. Walmart, I'm watching you. I know you're raising your prices. <laughs> a little bit of cocktail shrimp because I don't really like seafood as far as like fish. I like shrimp, crab, things like that. Me and mommy like seafood. And my mommy love fish. I don't like fish at all, but I do like shrimp. So that's a good source of vitamins and stuff like that. So I bought the I bought this Oscar Mayer chicken breast because it was five dollars a pound, and it, I bought a pound of it. And we will make a keto lasagna, which is basically you just replace the noodles with deli meat instead of noodles. So it's yummy. It is yummy, very filling, very cheesy, hamburger, all that stuff. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then I got these two top round roasts, which will also probably go in the Instant Pot. And the reason I bought these is it's not because it was a good price. It was eight forty nine dollars for a pound, but it was buy one, get one free. So even though one was $22, I actually got two. For twenty-two dollars, and that brings it down to four twenty-five. And anytime you can get any kind of red meat at four twenty-five, you know, I, usually the average is about five dollars a pound for this, or five ninety-nine. I got it for four twenty-five, so that's what we did. I don't know. I think Emily. Oh yeah, you'll get that real quick if you would please. Yep. This. The reason I went to the grocery store was this in the first place. Emily needed coconut oil for to make coconut shrimp with uh, with the keto chow. So I think she's making that tonight. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm that's the young. real reason that I went was to get this. And the rest of the stuff was just kind of a bonus. But all in all, Kroger really didn't have that good of sales. So this is just the amount that I got. Luckily, we have the freezer stock full, so if no one has a sale, we're all right. Anyway, we will see you later tonight with whatever we end up making.
Say bye, Nat. Bye. Monday night dinner. I made spare ribs in the Instant Pot. Uh, I cooked them for 45 minutes because they were slightly froze. And then I got them out. I, see, I seasoned the tar out of these things. I put Redmond's everything on it. Everything. And then I took them out. I put them on this pan and put them in the broiler. And then when I'm getting it out, the pan bounced. It bent and scared, and scared me. It scared it. <laughs> and then Emily... Emily what? Emily has made... Keto Nothing. chow coconut shrimp. No, Emily has not. What do you mean? Well, I, I thawed them out before I went upstairs, and I, I it seems like I put them right here. What do you mean? They're frozen. You didn't even do your job. He didn't do his job. So the whole time I'm upstairs doing whatever I do upstairs. I, I was come, on the computer. She was on the computer watching the video <laughs> that we taped. Because he yesterday does, he does all the editing and I don't yesterday and I come down oh. and the coconut shrimp look at look at it look what you did but we have ribs I'm gonna make them now ribs yeah I will beat you up you're now. gonna make ribs now yeah. yeah but I've already made the ribs they're right there no you haven't it's your imagination <laughs> All right. Obviously, we're having ribs because she, I'm gonna make sure she didn't do her part. I, I'm gonna make it. You said they were frozen. They are frozen. Well, why wasn't you watching it? You're supposed to add more hot water. All right, ribs, and we don't know if the shrimp's coming out or even if it's getting made ever. We've been talking about the shrimp now. I'm I'm, I'm gonna make for them. Two weeks. What time is it? Two weeks. I have time. It's 7 o'clock. We were talking about when we came off BBB&E March 1st that we were going to have All right, stop. coconut shrimp. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start it now and mm -hmm. he's going to record me. We're not going to shrimp. Okay, I am making the keto chow coconut shrimp. Their recipe is online. That's what I'm using for the shrimp. Um, packet of pina colada keto chow. We are going to fry it in coconut oil using organic unsweetened coconut flakes and that is all I've coated the shrimp with so you can see they're all coated with the keto chow um, and the unsweetened coconut flakes so I'm about to fry them up um, I didn't have all the ingredients for the sauce the dipping sauce um, so I kind of made do that is heavy whipping cream coconut oil chili paste and uh, we did not have any pineapple seltzer water so we are using um, some of Austin's hard seltzer <laughs> so we'll see how that turns out the coconut smells bad I don't like coconut so hopefully this is good so we're gonna go ahead and start frying these Poor shrimp. And it should not take very long. I already see it turning orange. Yep. It will not take long at all. And don't we have one more step after all? No? Um, we will be taking them out. And dying more. Yeah. And this is on low, so. Five dollars, you won't take your finger in it. No, I will not. <laughs> so, I'll do that. And. Yeah, I already see the bubbling. It was yummy. Where are our other 
Yeah, it does. Can I flip it? Actually, no. Oh, I don't think that one was quite ready. That was the last one you put in. Was it the last one? Yes. See, my mom took that one. Yeah. That one's not quite ready. That one's sick. Well, it's kind of funny looking. So we'll get right back to you with how they look, how yeah, they turn out. Yeah, all right, Noah, we have not tried these at all. And Noah is getting ready to try them. And here they, here's what they look like. They are beautiful. They smell really, really good. Got the last batch cooking. Put them in third. Noah, go for it. It's actually really good. Really? Mm -hmm. And I don't like coconut either. No? All right. No. Will you try one with the dipping sauce? Yeah. All right. So Emily made this dipping sauce. Like I said, it's not too a tea on the Keto Chow website recipe, but... Now try that. It's going to be a little spicy. It's good. It ain't too spicy either. Is it better with or without? With or without the sauce? It just depends. I mean, I personally like it without the sauce. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But it's really good. Well, I like things Ow. spicy. That's why me and Emily's Ow. together. <laughs> well, what? I said I like things spicy. That's why I'm with you. Uh -huh. Look, no. Yeah. Emily's so spicy that we had a redhead. Yeah. All right, Austin. As a non-keto person, now there's dipping sauce here. Oh, you can't dip it now. It's already in your mouth. All right, what do you think of the shrimp without the dipping sauce? Fresh take. Good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like coconut. Cut just like coconut shrimp? Mm -hmm. Now try it with that sauce. That sauce has a kick to it. It definitely does. Yeah, he spilled it on the table. <laughs> You're just fishing this in generation. Oh, pineapple. Mm hmm. I'm good. <laughs> Citrusy. It's fruity. Noah's got ribs and no shrimp left, which means he likes it. Mm -hmm. Emily? I have ribs with butter on my ribs, and I have not eaten my shrimp yet. Which, like you know, I love coconut. So, not being allowed to have coconut shrimp, and now being allowed. You're such a dirty mom. It's so good. I'm eating the bone. I'm eating my bone. In Derek's home. Mm -hmm. Hi, Derek. Hi. All right. Everyone agrees. Keto Chow's coconut shrimp recipe is a win. Definitely try it. And there's my food. So I'll see you tomorrow. I'm eating the bone. You better not be eating the bone. <laughs> Bye, guys. What's up guys? It's Friday and Emily and Noah went to a convention tonight. Um, I probably ain't going to go until either tomorrow or Sunday, but because everything was on the run, leftover sirloin steak for dinner. Uh, Noah had some sirloin steak before he left and I'm just going to hang out here and maybe get a little jump start on Saturday's video. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Way in Saturday morning. You see behind me? This is March 26th something and we've been in 60s, 70s all week. You see this crap? Very disappointed. 
weigh-in results coming up. All right, so that was Thursday, and then, of course, Friday, we didn't have much. What did you have for dinner Friday? Because I did not say what you had for dinner. <laughs> I came home and had some high loaf life chips with guacamole. <laughs> and then I had a plain double cheeseburger from Burger King, no bun. And I accidentally dropped the bun on the floor because I didn't order it without the bun. And I dropped it by my feet in my car because we were going to a convention. I did not go last night. <laughs> we might go to later. Yeah. I, I, really, I really want to get this vlog up. So it's kind of earlier than normal. It's only like noonish. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try to get that up maybe before four. Also... And we don't know this, but I've been thinking that maybe for lives, maybe Sunday night for like 30 minutes would be a good time for lives. Okay. You can only chat for 30 minutes. Puts a limit on his mouth. Well, I'm not good at chatting anyway. No. But I'm hoping that other people show up and talk. <laughs> I'm sure you'll figure it out. All right. The mm -hmm. coconut shrimp is amazing. It is. And so kudos to Chalk. Because to keto chow. Yes, keto chow. <laughs> very good. And one of the things Emily got me at the convention last night was a. <laughs> there was an artist at the show and he had originals and prints. Um, this is a print of one of his drawings and I saw it and immediately thought. James would like this. <laughs> because because Emily don't like this show, but me and Austin have kind of like a weird sense of shows. Like, we like, I like things like What We Do in the Shadows, which is a comedy based off of a movie, What We Do in the Shadows. I also like, like, I like things that's not real, so I like a lot of fantasy stuff, such as... I, I, I guess, do too. I guess it was real, but I like things like Vikings and Game of Thrones and... I don't want to watch reality TV because I live reality. Whereas I like documentaries. No. The only thing I like on documentary is financial stuff. Stocks. Stuff like that. Documentaries and Harry Potter. All right. Enough said. <laughs> I'm down 1.6 pounds. So I... 1.6 pounds. Ching. Yep. Derek is down one pound. And I am down... What, a half a pound, 0.6? She's down Of point. last week, but I'm still up from two weeks ago. So it's really mm -hmm. frustrating to me to the point where I'm like, maybe I'm at a stall. This is how frustrated she was. <laughs> she was looking, she got on the couch and she got the laptop out and she was looking at a Dr. Barry video. About weight stalls. About stalls. <laughs> Which I'm not on a stall, apparently, according to Dr. Barry. What are you? Um, it's got to be like a month and I'm down within the month, but... Of course, it's not to my liking. Well, so, yeah, I'm frustrated, but I guess it's not a stall. I guess it's just because I'm a female. And I have hormones. And that's the reason, I suppose. Hmm. You don't think your stall has anything to do with this? Um, these are unopened. Thank you very much. So she ordered four different things from Chalk Zero because we love Chalk Zero. Chalk Zero's products are... They're just amazing. Maybe it's because we've been keto now for 10 months. Mm-hmm. What I like about them. Okay. Um, they taste real. What do you like about them other than they're chocolate? They are chocolate. And what I like is typically they have different flavors of dipped almonds. Just double dipped almonds. How much did Derek lose? One pound. Derek lost one pound. I already said that. One but pound. I'm going to show you. Chalk Zero has these double dipped almonds. They have some coconut ones that taste just like an did some, almond joy. Did someone lose 75 pounds total? Did someone hit a milestone? All right. Go ahead. I'm down 75 pounds, which... All right. That's all it's I a, want It is say. amazing. It is. I'm sorry. 50 was a big milestone. 25 was a big milestone. And now I've hit 75. Which is awesome. And I, and I am. I'm very happy for you. I have 29 to go to my goal. 
And I'm looking at modeling agencies. <laughs> but I want to show why I like these. So these Chalk Zero double dipped almonds. Um, it's three and a half servings per container. So it doesn't really tell you. How many is in a serving? One ounce. One ounce. Well, let's just count how many servings are in here. Okay. What I like is they're individually wrapped. There's two almonds in a package. There's ten. Okay. So that would be like, like three of these would be one. Yes. So three of these would be one serving, and that's 14 total carbs. Or how many net carbs? So the net carbs would be five? Mm-hmm. For three of them. But we don't go by net carbs. We go by total carbs. I know. So anyway, 14 for three. But some people do net. True. So 14 for three, which would be how many per package? I can't divide 14 by three. It doesn't work. It would be just a touch less than five. Four and three quarter. Or, mm -hmm. no, I'm sorry, 4.66. There you go. For one. And there's two double dipped almonds. And typically, if I want something sweet, I'll open this and have one and give one to James or Noah or somebody. And it's perfect because they're all individually wrapped. 0.666. I'm sorry. Seven. <laughs> but all of their products are really good. And like I said, I like that they're individually wrapped. They are. They're delicious. Oh, one fell open. The half fell open. It tastes like chocolate, but it smelled like hickory because I had hickory liquid smoke on my hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. And what that does is that leaves two and a half servings for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, they taste like toffee. It's like a score bar or a huge bar. Look at that flavor. Milk chocolate, caramel toffee. Chalk Zero, we love you. We do. All right. We also got peanut butter cups. And he had already opened these. Somebody opened them. <laughs> these are dark, dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Mm -hmm. And there is basically, okay, so there's 11 total carbs in two. Yep. But if you count net carbs, there's only one. So today we'll count net carbs. No. <laughs> no. Someone ate one. And then these. We did try these. Yes. Myself and Austin split one these, yesterday. These are orange milk squares. They're, they're, they are so good. I guess milk chocolate with orange. And they are absolutely delicious. And they didn't make this label for old people. It looks like there's five total carbs for a piece. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be one net, net carb. Again, everything's individually wrapped, and I love that about yes. this brand. We like everything being individually, individually wrapped. Mm -hmm. If only I could get potato chips that way. <laughs> and these have four total carbs for one piece. We have not tried these. This these is are the, just the dark chocolate. The 92% cacao. Cacao. Cocoa. Cacao. Cocoa. Cacao. <laughs> <laughs> dark chocolate. Yep. Just squares of dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. One total carb, or four total carbs, one net carb per piece. And, and if you have a sweet tooth, these will get rid of it. And I, I did reach out to Talk Zero to see if we can get some kind of an affiliate link so you guys can get a discount on that. And we have not heard back. Not heard back yet. Hopefully we do. And if we do, we will definitely share that. Um, Easter's coming up. I know that they have... Easter bunnies, chocolate Easter bunnies that are chalk zero. So um, I did not order any of those. I don't do the candy thing for Easter. All right. So we don't know anything about doing affiliate links or anything like that. So this was the first I place. I could be doing it all wrong. This is the first <laughs> place that she reached out to. We don't know anything about that. It, this is all a learning, progress, uh, learning Pro pro process. <laughs> anyway, we woke up this morning. I had bacon. And then I actually made... I couldn't film it because I was making it. I made Emily and Noah sausage patties and eggs. Mm -hmm. Made the eggs in the sausage grease. They weren't the prettiest. 
But Noah said they were the best. They were good. <laughs> they were good. So, got my eggs on already today. What? My eggs. I got my eggs done already today. I try to eat eggs every day. Every day. And... Anything else? I'm drinking a coffee right now that... Um, it's a horror hound coffee. It's a new brand thing for my brother and got they, some of that yesterday and it's really good. They sold it at the convention. Yeah. So that's what I got for myself there. I'm sure that's not ever going to be on shelves in supermarkets. I would imagine it would Maybe. be hard. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. It's kind of a trial thing they're doing, but it's, it's good coffee. Does it taste like coffee? Mm-hmm. It'd be weird if it didn't. Well, I mean, it's horror hound, so maybe it's scary. What else? Somebody was asking about something. What? Those little muffins that we had bought for Noah. No. The high key muffin bites? No. There's your answer. It, it depends. It all depends. If you like almond flour. And the taste of almond flour. And the taste of almond flour. The muffins were, they was not cakey, very cakey at all. They were more gritty. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, you either, I guess you either really like almond flour or you don't. Yeah, no, I, I seem to like them. We I think it's, we I tried them and. I think it's mm, kind of dry and crumbly. A little bit disappointed in that. But don't really like almond flour. I much prefer coconut flour. I mean, almond flour in some things is is great. It's just, it didn't do so good in muffins completely made of almond flour. I didn't think so. But I do like seeing new products out that you can try. Yeah. You know, at least, at least they try. And, you know, I'm sure for everything that I don't like, there's just as many people who love it. Right. There's a lot of things I don't like that we tried. It just wasn't muffiny. It was, yeah. It was more like a soft cookie kind of a texture, but it was gritty to me. It was almond flour and but I'm just not that big of a fan of almond their flour. Their cookies are good. Their cookies are really their good. Their cookies are good. They're vanilla wafers. They're, mm -hmm. they're Yeah, all their little cookies and stuff, they're good. Mm -hmm. And it's just the right amount, like, size. <laughs> no, they're small. Yeah. And they're, just, they're, they're too good. small. No, they're good. It's fine. All right, you guys. I'm going to try to get this thing up so maybe it can be posted before dark. Yeah. You guys take care. Have a great Saturday. And if we go somewhere, we will film it and it will be posted somewhere in the future. Hope you guys like the shrimp because it is amazing. You please, might, please try it. You might want to, if you're, if you're a coconut shrimp fan, you might want to be on Keto Chow right now ordering yeah. a pack of pina colada. I'm going to have to order more of the pina colada and Keto give it, Chow And now. give it a shot because, <laughs> and especially if you use the, we use the uh, chili paste, chili, what is it called? It's kind of like sriracha, but it was more, that's what we made the sauce with. Yeah. And... It was absolutely delicious. Their recipe for the dipping sauce is amazing. I mean, we kind of had to alter a little bit think, just based on what we had. I think we used a Thai chili good. paste. We did. And it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Just perfect spice. I could have had more. So, anyway, you guys have a great day. See you later.